What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Lucas with uh, Wild and Crazy or Crazy Jones RC, whichever one this happens to be airing on. The only reason why I started my Crazy Jones RC is I wanted to be able to uh, experiment and see uh, if the viewers liked the, uh, the non-music or liked it with music. So I'm just kind of comparing the two. Usually when someone's watched it once, they don't want to watch it again, a video. So I decided to start a new page and I'm going to air them at different times and just kind of see how, uh, how they do. I don't know. Just an experiment. So that's kind of why I've got my uh, Crazy Jones RC for now. Uh, I've had a few comments on my bridge, quite a few actually, uh, quite a few on how I built it and uh, you know personal messages on how I did it. So I'm going to build another one. This one I used uh, a rope for my railing. I'm going to build one where I don't use the rope. Uh, the rope is just like a, a fiber rope, uh, a string. Nothing fancy, you can buy them at like Home Depot and stuff. The wood, um, I'm going to show you how I did it, but I actually found this wood in a field. So it wasn't like I really used any chemicals to uh, age it. Uh, it was basically just out in a field for who knows how long. So if you want the old look, I'd suggest you build it, probably kind of get it wet so it'll open up the fibers and then just leave it out, out in your backyard for a month or two. I mean, that's... That's all I can really say. If there is a way to age the wood, I don't know about it. I'm not saying there isn't one. But anyway, that's how uh, I built this. Just found some old wood. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start showing you guys how I did this. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, anyway guys, that's kind of how I did it, before and after. This woods, I mean, I apologize for you guys that are in the metric system. It's about an inch, I have no idea what that is in, in metric, and it's about a half inch, maybe three or five eighths wide. I just kind of cut it in half, made it a quarter inch, three eighths. It all depends on how you want to build it as far as scale. Then the next step I did, I just took my truck, a little dusty, I just kind of measured about my wheel span and I wanted to add, you know, an extra inch or so to each side just to give it a little room to fit on the bridge. Plus, I wanted to off-center the wood so it wasn't perfectly straight. I wanted to kind of throw it off a little bit just so it didn't look like it was done by measurement. Somebody just threw a, a bridge together. So in my case, I'm probably going to build my bridge about 11 inches wide. Like I said, I don't understand the metric system, so you know you guys use your tape measure. But I I like to make it just a little wider than the truck. And then uh, I actually made my first bridge kind of long. I'm going to make this one a little shorter. I'm actually just going to use one of these lengths. Last time I actually uh, just put the two together and put a little brace in the middle of it and added two together so my bridge was twice that long I don't want a long bridge so I'm just gonna make about a three foot long bridge today alright guys uh, let's get started okay guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm just throwing a few uh, planks together uh, I'm doing this all off of my deep freeze I don't have a sturdy table 
Uh, those of you guys that have a sturdy table, this will be, you know, nice. But okay, what I'm going to do is I just measure out my 11 inches. Uh, I don't have a chop saw. It's one of the few tools I don't have. But uh, I do have another saw that I'm going to use. Just a little, what they call a coping saw. Uh, I just want something, you know, you don't want to tear up your wood too much. But yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut me a few, a few planes. Okay guys, I'm pretty much where I want to be. Now we're just going to start nailing them down. And then I want to kind of think ahead, like I said, uh, I got some shorter planks. They're about a half inch to an inch shorter. As you can see, I'll line those up. And I got some shorter. I want to put those, you know, every fourth or fifth plank, because that's where I'm going to put my, uh, my railing. So, oh, and another thing, let me grab my nails. Use really small nails. It gives it a more scale look. I mean, these are like really, really small. It's gonna look like they use like these huge nails on the bridge, but they're gonna look a lot better than if you guys get some like really big nails. I'm gonna show you some of these. If I can get it open. As you can see they're, they're not very big. They don't really have much of a head on them. Just uh, small nails because it gives a much better look. All right, let's start nailing this together. Okay, guys, I've got it laid out. As you can see, I got about every fifth one short. And then the last two are short just so that uh, I can, like, bury it in the dirt or whatever I need to do to kind of make it look more natural on the trail. So spread them out, make sure they look good before you start nailing them. Uh, I'm kind of happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting it together. Okay guys, so here you go. Uh, like I said, some, as in that one, they look kind of a natural cut. The rest of them, you can tell I've cut. But over time, they'll look better. And as you can see, it's not a an even plank. It's got its uh, aging and its uh, spacing off. It's not all straight. I think that gives it a little older look. And then, like I said, just every 
see if you can see this better like that. Every so often, I just uh, left a, a space for my, my planks. All right, uh, you can stop here and use just use this as your bridge, or you can take it a step further and put your railing on. Basically, there's my Jeep on it. As you can see, there's enough room on both sides. And if I want, I can put the railing on it. But there's the uh, the bridge build part. I'll go ahead and uh, put some railing on it. And if you want, I'll uh, continue and you can watch how I did that. All right, guys, I'm just using some of my leftover plank wood. Let's see, it's just basically this. I just ripped them in half. And uh, I'm just going to stick them right here and run some nails into it. It's definitely an overkill, I can see that, but uh, it's all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them to about maybe three or four inches and then run, run the railing across so it'll look kind of like that. All right, I'll go ahead and get started on that. Hey guys, a good way to do this is a two by four is kind of what I used. Put it over my workbench. Gives you kind of a stable spot. Take your wood and uh, I make it flush. Make sure you guys can see that. Yeah. I'll take off the camera here maybe and uh, show you after I do it. But you want to make it flush and then take your small nails and go ahead and what I'd do first though, is get it started. So you can see it on the other side. Kind of center it in your cutout. Go ahead and start nailing them in place. Okay guys, there you go. So I've got Got my, my planks up. I don't know why, but that looks yellow in my screen. Hopefully it's not yellow when I upload it. Okay, now we're going to do the cross members. I know a lot of you guys are thinking uh, I probably should have put them up before I nailed up all the planks because it's going to be harder, but I just use a backing hammer. I'll show you how I do that. But anyway, i um, not sure if I want to use that or, or make uh, cut it in half and do two little ones. I may just do one big one. I haven't decided yet how I want to do it. It's really up to you guys. Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to rip it in half. Uh, it's up to you guys if you also want to make it one big long piece or cut it in two and, and make it split in the middle. Me personally, I think I'm just going to make it one big long piece. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and rip this one in half and uh, make two planks out of it. Alright, so here it is guys. I decided I'm going to I'm going to make two, two small railings. Just set this here. One there. One right there. You know, give or take. So that's what it's going to look like. I'll probably cut the end off so it's flush with the uh, end of the plank. Or the, uh, the last plank there. But uh, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do it just like that. Alright guys, I'll show you how I... I use my hammer to back. That way, uh, I, I don't want to... Uh, pre-assemble it because I don't know if I, I guess I could go through and measure it all but heck man this is the uh, redneck way of building a bridge okay guys basically this is how it is I'm gonna use the 2x4 to kind of hold up my wood maybe uh, there we go and then uh, line this up I'm gonna mark it so I know about where I want my first nail Go ahead and get my nails started. Hold it back up. And uh, I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a, an overhang. Now what I mean by backing, if you just take one, one hammer, and uh, it would help if I had my other hammer for a second. Okay, both hammers. Give it a little bit of overhang, just 
put one hammer as a backing just to run it in. Pretty easy to do, I think. I mean, it's up to you guys how you want to do it. If you want to pre-major it all and uh, you know nail it into place and then put it up on the bridge, that's up to you guys. I just find this easier to do for me. Again, I'll uh, get me another nail put in. Get it started. Just a backing hammer. Anyway, easy to do. Go ahead and move my 2x4 out of the way. Go ahead and finish. There you guys go. A completed bridge. Watch for it in the video up ahead. I'll definitely be using it. A new driver there. Anyway, guys. All right, guys, there you go. A completed bridge. The uh, truck fits on it fine. Uh, if you guys have any questions, definitely ask me. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching.